What's the deal, Raider Nation? This is your man, Wasted Talent. I'm back with another short video. There's been a curious case of a missing star in the Raiders lineup. What is the deal with Hunter Renfro and the lack of targets and usage in this Raider offense? Now, week one, I can understand why Hunter Renfro didn't have any targets. And then we had 13 snaps. The Raiders won a close slobber knocker of a game. Shout out to JR. Um, he had about 13 targets, which is a very conservative number of targets for a guy like Hunter Renfro. But the Raiders rode the hot hand in Jacoby Myers. Jacoby Myers had a heck of a game. Uh, we won that game. So you won't hear a peep out of me or most Raider fans. But what was super eye-opening was in week two, Jacoby Myers was hurt. The Raiders' offense was sputtering, you know, and Josh Jacobs wasn't able to get anything going. Devontae Adams is bracketed as always, but he gets his. You would think that Hunter Renfro, being that, you know, we have a rookie tight end that hasn't quite put it all together yet, you would think Hunter Renfro would be featured in his offense. And the man only got one target, he got 26 snaps, and he caught one ball for 23 yards. And it is an amazing, amazing thing to me that this man has not been used. Now, he, Josh McDaniels was asked about this at today's press conference, and he said this. There have been some missed opportunities on our part, but I don't think that it's a function of Hunter, said McDaniels. He should have gotten the ball more than he did yesterday. And I think that there were more opportunities than that. Now, this is an eye-opening statement from Josh McDaniels, who has been a notorious tyrant and miser in the way that he runs his offensive scheme. He is the play caller. Now, make no mistake about it, he is not on the field playing, but Josh McDaniels is the a kind of coach who is constantly in his quarterback's ear. He is constantly telling them where to go to, with the football. That was one of the reasons why he brought a guy that he knows that can run his system here in Jimmy Garoppolo. And to me, this reeks of a larger problem that Josh McDaniels and his regime have. Now, I am no basher of this regime. I am a guy who has notoriously supported this regime because I always support the regime that is, is, is actually here because I am a Raider fan and I'm a Raider pundit first and foremost, and I want to see the Raiders win. I love this team and I'm not one of these guys who will go out here and root against this team for my own interest just so that I can come off as quote unquote right. But I have to ask these questions because I would not be credible if I didn't. Josh McDaniels, what the heck is going on? You know, you're talking as if you have no control over the amount of snaps on a Renfro get and how he's featured and utilized in his offense. Now, Josh McDaniels is a guy who has been known around the National Football League to get players in one on one matchups in space. He's also a guy who's had Zamir White get as many targets and, 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 and almost as many snaps as Hunter Renfro. He, you know, <laughs> it, 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 it's ridiculous. You know, DeAndre Carter has gotten more targets than Hunter Renfro. And, and I have to ask myself, does Josh McDaniels value Hunter Renfro? And is Hunter Renfro only on his roster because of the contract that he signed? Is this the only reason why Hunter Renfro is still here? But the larger question is, why would you as a coach who's lock and step with a GM, almost devalue a Pro Bowl level player. Now, listen, I'm not trying to say that Hunter Renfro is Jerry Rice, but Hunter Renfro is a player who has played at a Pro Bowl level. You know, Hunter Renfro in 2021 had over a thousand yards. He had nine touchdowns. Um, He had over a hundred receptions. Hunter Renfro was a pro bowler. I just don't understand. 61.1 yards per game. I have no idea why having a player like this on his roster, he is not being featured more than some of the, the lesser land of misfit toys we have at the back of our roster. And also I need to ask, it would behoove, and it's not even a question, but it's more of a statement. It would behoove the Raiders to kind of feature Hunter Renfro in a way where they can drive up his trade value if they do not value said player. I, you know, I'll never understand it. You know, this is kind of 
you know, one of the things about this organization, if, if you know, I, you know, if I could be critical for a minute that I don't like, you know, some would say they didn't get enough for our, our former quarterback. That has a lot to do with the fact that he had a no trade clause. So I'm not going to beat the organization to, up too much for that. Some would say that the organization put themselves in a bind by not signing Josh Jacobs to a fifth year option. I would say that too. Some would also say that they haven't gotten enough for assets. And what they're doing now is they're setting the stage where they are effectively ruining Hunter Renfro's trade value, and then they're also not featuring him. So I got to ask something. Do they value this man? Do, do they want him out of here? Or are they just not smart enough to understand by not playing him, they are essentially killing any value he has. I think he has more value to the Raiders at this point than him having some so-called trade bait because if you looked at this game against Buffalo, what we did need was offensive firepower and Hunter Renfro will give you that in spades. I think it's time for Josh McDaniels to get out of his own way and uh, not put his scheme and his ego over doing what's right for the rest of the offense. Now, Renfro might not be, quote unquote, one of his guys because he was already here before, you know, McDaniels got here, but he is a capable, capable receiver. And at this point, with Jacoby Myers out, I don't know if Jacoby Myers is going to play this week. You know, it'll be an egregious, egregious mistake if the Raiders don't get Hunter Renfro at least, you know, eight or nine targets this game. I mean, it, it's ridiculous. Guys, listen, that's my take on Hunter Renfro. If you like what you hear in this video, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Red Nation Unlimited. I'm your man, Wasted Talent, and we are out of here tonight. Peace.